Um, congratulations to Arizona State. They uh, deserve to, uh, to win the game. Um, uh, as I told the guys, um, we didn't play well enough. We didn't coach well enough. Um, we didn't do a lot of things very well. And I'm responsible for everything that happens in, in this building with regard to football. And um, that's on me. And uh, um, I've got to do a better job getting those kids ready to play. Uh, I thought we had a good week of practice. Maybe it was fool's gold because we didn't come out um, very fast and turn the ball over right away and then uh, uh, give up uh, a couple of scrambles and uh, give up a pick route for a touchdown and, and um, uh, got behind quickly and uh, just couldn't get anything going offensively. And we really struggled to, to slow them down defensively, especially the Scataboos that we know is a good player. Um, Tyson is the best wide receiver that I've seen, and we could get Jacob Parrish on him some. We couldn't get him on him all the time. Um, Jacob had the best opportunity, and um, they found matchups and, and did a good job um, exploiting that. And, uh, and I told the guys, um, I'll take ownership on this one. And, you know, Austin Moore's not going to let me do that, but I'm going to take it. And um, because it, it's, it, the whole program's on me. And uh, I didn't do a good enough job with the game plans. I didn't do a good enough job with the players. And what I asked those guys um, is we've got a handful of six-year guys that came in when I came in, a handful of fifth-year guys that have been with me through the COVID, through everything, of do whatever we can to lay it on the line and pull together for those kids that deserve the opportunity to go out with a win at the bill. Um, and I don't know what the legacy of, of all those guys is going to be, um, but I know in my mind, in my heart, uh, I love those kids because they've started with me here, took us through COVID, uh, won a Big 12 championship, and I'm frustrated and I'm hurting for those guys because I need to do better because I know why a lot of those guys came out, came back uh, to have an opportunity to compete for a championship, and uh, I let them down. Coach, what changes need to come out of this? Uh, I, I'm not going to make any decisions on anything right now, Fitz. Um, did, could you tell in pregame maybe the guys were off? or did, When the game started, um, just kind of catch it. I, I really couldn't. And that's, once again, that's on me. Uh, I, I, I didn't, uh, didn't see it. I thought we had a good walkthrough, that we had some good things happen. And as what has gone on a little bit, when we don't have – Things happen well quickly, early. Um, we struggle to overcome that adversity. One final thing. It looked like when you kind of went to tempo, the offense settles in. Yeah. I mean, is that – it's something you've done in the past, go yeah. tempo all the time, but – Yeah, a couple things on that. Yes, correct. And I thought we did some really good things uh, with tempo. Can't get down that much, right? You know, we're down 21 or 24 to nothing and not an excuse at all harder to go tempo when you're down to just a handful of guys because we were down Dylan, we were down Keegan, we we're down Jay Jack. Um, and so we we didn't have enough uh, uh, guys to keep rolling in there. Chris, Co Chris what did you say to the, the team after a first half like that? Um, I challenged them pretty good, let's just say that, because I, 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 that's not us. And the kicking has been an adventure for you guys the last two it's games. crazy. And any thoughts on that? It, it's We've got to fix it. It's um, it, the last two weeks, and, and you know, the first week against Houston, you can say a lot of things with the rain and so forth, and can't say anything today. And, and it's got to, it's got to get better because we needed that field goal to give ourselves a chance if we could stop them to make it a one-score game. And um, uh, the execution, and once again, I, I've got to look at it for myself and say, what do we got to do to be better? Coach, there was a series where Arizona State, I think, maybe took three or four delay of games there. Did any indication on what was happening in that process? No, no, none. And then what changed defensively for you guys, only living up, only giving up three points there in the second half? Um, they were conservative, I would say. And I thought we played better, don't get me wrong. I think our, our kids... Part of that was challenging those guys at halftime, and we, we played better uh, on defense.
What's to say about this team that you guys didn't give up that second half? I don't know. Um, D. Scott. Um, I'm just hurting for those kids. It's been a really, really hard two weeks for me. Um, and I feel awful for those for those older guys that have my back. And like I told them, I let them down. And it's been – it's been rough. Um, Coach, how did you feel like uh, you guys were able to kind of contain uh, Scadaboo tonight? Um, he's a terrific football player, and uh, I, I know that his statistics aren't eye-popping, but he made really good runs when he needed to, and uh, some third and shorts and fourth and shorts. I, I think that kid's a terrific football player. So much that that's a good football team. We all know it. Um, Coach Dillingham is a rising star uh, in the profession. Brian Ward, defensive coordinator, A.J. Cooper, linebacker coach, I'm friends with, coach with them. They're, they're, they're good people. Um, they, they deserve to win the game, and um, uh, we did not. 